Are we live? Okay. Okay. We are going to study creativity today with leaves. Really, what inspires an artist is what they see, what they feel, what they think. And so sometimes doing an exercise like today, which is going to help us with drawing, is also something that really can spark creativity because we're going to look at things and then look at them differently. So since everyone should probably, I guess unless you're in a place with no trees, um, you should probably have some leaves somewhere. And if not, you can figure out something else to use, anything that uh, might be gathered around your yard right now. So you might find these in a park, you might find them outside of your home, uh, but there are plenty of falling and fallen leaves. So we're gonna take those and we're gonna turn them into creatures. And I have Tate over here who's gonna help me. My kids are full virtual school as of Friday. So we've got lots of fun in store. So what I want you to do is you can go along with me if you don't have any leaves, but we're going to trace a leaf and then we're going to try and think of some creatures we can turn it into. So this helps if you have something that has some color um, so you can see the different things. And in fact, Tate, would you mind grabbing some of those um, things of colored pencils over there? That might help us and you can use those. So I, this is an oak leaf. I think this is a maple leaf, um, but let's go ahead. I'm going to trace this. You can pick any leaf you have, or you can kind of draw the shape that you have. If I put this leaf shape, and I'm going to trace it on here. Tate, you want to pick a leaf shape and trace one? From both of ours into something? So this is a fun game you can play at any time. So... Can you, can you push the plus button a little bit? Yep. Oh. So, a little bit louder. We good? Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and trace this. So you can pick any leaf you have, but this is the most. So a little bit of a delay that happens when I talk to you. So sometimes it might take a minute for you to answer my question, but we have a leaf. We can tell it's a leaf. We could think of it a couple different ways. We could put the leaf together and make a second leaf. Ooh, if I do that, I think I see something. Do you think you see an animal if I make it like this? Like an animal that goes rawr. Let's try it and see what happens. So I'm going to draw the leaf again. You want to trace this one? You trace on that one over there. And if I have it right here, if all of a sudden, now my trace really well, if I'm going to put What does that look like now? A leaf or does it look like a lion? A lion. We can put some ears up there. So all of a sudden those leaf points become our lion's mane. So that's an example of what I'm talking about, how we might see something differently. Tell you what, why don't you help me over here? So I'm gonna trace one. So let's try another one. Or do you wanna think of an animal and we'll try to pick a leaf for it? Do you wanna pick an animal? What do you think? What kind, oh, you like turtles, don't you? You like turtles? We gonna go with a turtle today? Hmm. Oh, you had a leaf that would make a great turtle. Will you pick that one up right there? What if we make a turtle? Okay. 
So I happen to think oak leaves make really good turtles, and you want to look for an oak leaf that has, see it looks like a leaf, but I might see a leaf, but if I think of it having a shell, I see a head and an arm and another leg. You want to try it and see what I mean? Okay, let's go for it. So we're going to trace this leaf. It's, it's harder to trace it up here. It's easier to trace it when it's laying down on the table, don't you think? I don't need as much on the head because I'm going to... What kind of leaves do you have at home? And we'll try and think of creatures we can make out of those leaves. Okay. So there's our oak leaf. Can they see okay, Keaton? Right there. Can you see that? Are you close enough to my board? You want to move it a little closer? You can come to my board. Tate and I will work on the same one together. Okay, so we've got our oak leaf, and then look up here. Do you see how to turn it into a turtle, Tate? So we have to put our turtle shell on it, like that, and then look. Oh, you know what? You know on my table where I do the other classes, there's a box of Crayola markers. Will you run and grab that for me? Go this way. So we've got, oh, a turtle paw. And a turtle paw there. And a turtle tail. And a turtle paw. Did that knock us off? What? The phone call. For a little bit. Okay. So, so can we start that over? Okay. So, sorry, we have not been in the game of doing these Facebook Lives, so we keep running into some things. So thanks for hanging on with us. We forgot to put my phone in airplane mode, and people have been calling me. So we will get that airplane mode squared away, and hopefully we won't get any calls. What so they could make a fish. Oh, they can make a fish. Would they, are they using an oak leaf? Are you using an oak leaf? Well, how about we'll make a fish out of another one in just a minute. So what we did is we traced the leaf, but if we're looking at it, if we think of a round shape on top and then the little paws sticking through, we get a turtle. So do you want to color the shell, you want to color the shell green right there for me? Just color it all in. We're going to make it green. Yep, go ahead and go. He's going to color, oh, you're going to have to move to the side so they can see you. you it's my left-hander. I'll get on the other side. Okay, so he's going to color in the shell. So we're thinking about when we're walking around, what could this be? Now, I've done things where we've actually glued the leaves right onto here, and we've turned them into things. I've done it where we've used multiple leaves to make different little animals and creatures. One but, person asked if we could make a bird. I think we could make a bird. Let's see, which one do you think looks more like a bird? Which one do you think we should make a bird out of? The maple leaf or the I don't know what kind of tree leaf? <laughs> maple or first vote gets it. Maple or the I don't know what kind of tree leaf? <laughs> which one do you think we should make a bird out of? And we'll make a bird out of one. Tate's going to color our turtle in. What do you think? Tate, do you think we should make it out of the maple? Let's go for the maple. Okay? So we're going to take the maple. One person said round leaf. Oh, the round leaf? You want to make a bird out of the round leaf? How about I'll make a bird out of both? Okay. So you know what? I'm going to get the Crayola markers. Let's do some markers. So if I did, let's see. Let's think about it because we're thinking creatively. We're trying to look at it and look at it like an artist. Oh, I have an idea. I think if we turn it this way, let's do it this way. Oh, just like this. So I'm going to turn the leaf this way. And what I'm doing is I'm putting that little point right there. See? And then I'm going to come around. And there's our leaf. Just like that. So let's turn into a bird. Let's give it a head right here. And we'll come down to the body. 
What makes a bird a bird? It has to have a beak. So let's give it a beak right here and a little wing right here and an eyeball and probably some cute little legs. And you have a bird. We'll make it a blue bird. So you can come back in with your colors. Now did you know if you use Crayola markers, you can also treat them like watercolor. So if you have a brush and your paper's thick enough and you add a little water, you can make your watercolor go. So we'll make our little, our Tweety Bird here. Okay, so we've got a little bird. I'm going to make its wing darker since we have crayons here. Up. You can also paint the leaves, and if you want to, you can paint them white, and then you can color right on them. You can actually draw onto them with the watercolors and treat it just like watercolor. Oh, look, Tate has turned his into a turtle. Do you want to color the feet brown? So remember, our oak leaf is right here, and then it became a turtle, and then our round we don't know what kind of tree it is, became a bird. Let's turn our maple leaf into another bird up here. Okay? Or is it better right here? Okay, so let me look at it. We know when we're looking at the leaf and we're trying to think creatively, we have to have a tail hmm, and a wing. One person made a hedgehog out of their leaf. Oh, that's so cute. I did that up there. So y'all are so creative. I am so proud of you. I think I see the bird. Do you see it? Do you see it yet? Let's see it. Okay, so I'm gonna trace it with my charcoal here. We've got- Someone said to make a turkey out of a maple. <gasps> oh, I'll do that too. That's a good one. Okay, that was not what I had in mind, but I'm gonna go with the turkey. Y'all are so good. So good with coming up with ideas. Oh, Tate says make a baby Yoda out of it. Okay, why don't you, do you want to make a baby Yoda? Or you want me to make a baby Yoda in just a minute? Okay, so here's our maple leaf right here. I love the turkey idea. Okay, so let's go with that. So if we have the maple leaf, that's going to be like the big turkey fan, which, by the way, next week, this is what we're going to draw. Like a real turkey. So we've got the fan tail right here, like a turkey back here, and then we've got the body in front. But we're drawing a little more cartoony today. So let's put the head up here. Can you see that? And then the body right here. Can you see that? Is that big enough, Keaton? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to have to have some turkey legs. I like where you're going here. Whoops, there went my charcoal. Okay, and we need a beak. And we need that little thing that hangs off the side of the turkey head. Kind of some turkey feathers up top. And then we can add some more turkey feathers. Uh, round. So, can you see that? I'll color a turkey in right here. There's our body. Do you have a maple leaf? Can you try to do a turkey? There's that. Oh, I don't have a red. Oh well. We'll make it pink because that's close enough. Oh, I have enough charcoal on there. It made it red. And then you can come along and do your turkey feathers. You still have that brown? Taters. Okay. So you can come along and use that leaf. That was a great idea to make that a turkey. Can you see our turkey okay? Does anyone have any other ideas? Can you see that turkey okay, Keaton, from there? 
It's kind of tiny. It's a tiny turkey. Tiny Tom. So this is, this is less about learning to draw today as it is really about learning to think creatively and stretch your creativity and kind of try to think out of the box. Now I'll show you another bird that I had in mind since we were talking about birds. So I'll do this one up here. So we did our turkey down there. Let's go. What are you making your leaves into? What else do you see? So, now you can color actually right onto the leaves, like I said. But also by tracing the leaves, it helps you kind of study how neat the leaves actually are. So there's our leaf shape right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a flying bird. Now, I'm just drawing in a real simple way today. I'm not trying to do a lot of shading and discussion. I'm trying to do more of a contour line or an outline. So when I look at it here, I actually look like I see the head here and I see a wing coming off here and a wing coming off here. Do you see that? Hopefully you will in a minute. So here's our head. Let's come down. Here's our bird. Here's our one wing right here, coming in like that. And that's our other wing flying. And then there's our beak right here. So I'll outline that so you can see that. So we started with our leaf right there. Then I came up and rounded out that side to make the head and brought the body around to the bottom of the leaf. Then I took and I made that first edge over here of the leaf into a wing. I added a little tail to our bird. And then I took and made that other wing, that other section of leaf, the top point, the other wing. So now our maple leaf becomes a bird. How about that? Let's see what else we can find in our pile of leaves today. Oh, he made baby Yoda inside. Oh, it's like the one inside the pod, isn't it? Like that? Let's see. So somebody else made a hedgehog. Hmm. What do you think we could make with this? And we've got more of a triangle shape. Does anybody have any ideas? Oh, Keaton does. A sn oh, we're going to have to go over here because this looks like this would be the head of a Harry Potter snake. Okay, so Keaton had a great idea. A triangle. So let me put this right here. I already see it. Good eye, Keaton. So remember, it could just be part. Let's put that in. There's our leaf. Just like that. But all of a sudden, where does our, I'll go ahead and, oh, our snake should be green. Let's make it green. Here's our snake right here. You see his head right there. There's his eyes. We'll give him a little bit of a smile. And then here's his body. One person said an elephant. Ooh, an elephant. Okay. Shall we go with that one too? Or a peacock. Oh, I like all of those. But do you see how? Oh my goodness, your, your creativity is going to town. They don't have to be really elaborate. It just has to be, this is an exercise. It's, it's just like if you were jogging or running. Art involves a lot of practice. Art involves just like if you were wanting to learn dance or you were wanting to learn baseball. You would practice hitting the ball. You would practice going to dance class. You would practice the steps. You would practice the moves. You would practice and practice to get it down. 
Well, art involves that too. Some of it's drawing, some of it's working your mind in different ways because you think differently when you think creatively. So that's what we're doing today. So let's see, with this one, we had an elephant. Oh, I see the elephant. Do you see the elephant? Shall we do another one? Let's do an elephant. Okay, can you see me over here, Keaton? We're going to town on the boards. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna outline this one in blue. Okay, here we go. We've got another triangular leaf. This leaf is so brittle. See it right there? Oh, what does an elephant need? It needs a trunk. There we go. We've got an elephant trunk. We need a uh, some big ears. And then we need a body that goes behind. Big elephant body. And then of course we need some eyes. And maybe some tusks. So our head's a little big for an elephant, but I'll make the eyes bigger. How about that? But that way, you get the idea of looking at the shapes and finding things with them. And what else? Somebody thought a peacock? Mm -hmm. Let's try and think of somewhere where we use it. That way, a peacock kind of fans out. That could be a peacock. Oh, what? You have another one? The broadcast has been paused. It should resume shortly. Okay. Well, we'll keep going. And let's see. We'll go on our snake. We'll give some patterns while we're waiting for it to resume. Okay. Sorry, our, our technology, it was doing something strange. It said it will resume. So I was like, I'll just draw some patterns on the snake. Okay, so now let's think about something else. Can you think of anything else? Hmm. What if we made this into a dragonfly? Oh, a dragonfly is good. What about a pig? A little pig? I, with a little pig nose? Okay, I'll do it right here. We'll do... Right there. Doing our round leaf. Now, a pig head... Pigs just kind of have little feet like this, and their little tails come out like that. And then they have pointy ears. There's a funny little pig. It doesn't look too much like a pig, but I think we get the idea. Well. This does look more like a hedgehog to me. We'll do a hedgehog. Oh, what's that that you made out of a leaf? Okay, here, we'll do a hedgehog right here. Okay, so we do the same leaf. Can you see it on, on the screen, Keaton? So there's our leaf. And we need our little hedgehog head with little ears. Little hedgehog head right down here. Little hedgehog. Whatever those are. Quills? Yeah. Well, are they spines or quills? That's more like a porcupine, isn't it? Sounds like porcupine quills. Yeah. Do any of your leaf animals have names? Oh, I think I can let Tate name all of them right now. But you see how you can take the same leaf or different leaves and start looking differently in so many ways. And the fun thing is, is you can start playing this game with your family. You can go, what do you think this leaf looks like? And most people will answer the same thing. 
When I ask you, what does this leaf look like? Most people go, it looks like a leaf. <laughs> but you can go, oh no, I think it's a bird or a turkey or something else. You think it could be a dragon? Hmm. Let's see if it could be a dragon. Maybe we'll end on that. It could be like the fire coming out of the dragon's head. That's a possibility. I like that thought. Let's see if we make a spiny back dragon over here. Hmm. Hmm. Let's get our leaf on here. So this is just a fun game to play, to keep your mind active and going. Now let's see, where is our dragon? What else could a maple leaf be? A oh, a spinosaurus. No, He's a right. A stegosaurus. Let me put that leaf. Yeah. It's a little rustic dragon, but I think we get the. We get the spikes there, and then maybe we add some spikes there. I think you could really go to town on that. It's a little rustic on a dragon, but we're getting the idea. Let's give that. Ooh, that's got big sharp teeth. So, what else have you come up with? Have you thought all about these? Have you thought all about how to make different shapes? What else could this be, Keaton, if we're looking at this? We don't even have to draw it. We can just think about it. Hmm. You got to look at it from all angles, front and back. It kind of could be a person jumping up and down. Yay! Like a goat. It could be a fountain. It could be a goat, like jumping up and down. Or it kind of looks like one of those cow rugs where they... Lay it. <laughs> um, it could be a deer. It could be a bear. Like these could be the claws coming out and you make it just fatter right there and you've got the big head. See? Let's see. Oh, see, I, I color on the leaves here too. I was doing some chalk pastels. Just another idea. You can do leaf rubbings. So much you can do. Leaves are free art supplies. Um, so let's look at this one. I feel like you'd have to connect some of these. But I think I see a mouth right there. Do you see a mouth right there? Something. Maybe this could even turn into a crocodile. Hmm. Another dragon. That could be a head. What do you think that could be? That's a good one. Tate's going to town over here. This one's kind of neat. This is the one we started out with doing the lion's mane. So this, I think, could be butterfly wings if we did two, if we drew two like that. Um, this also looks like, I bet it could be an elephant head if I had the leaves right here. Do you see the head coming down? And these are the big ears. Do you see that right there? One person said a spider web for one of the other leaves. Oh, that's like one of these, like a spider web. And you could draw a spider on there. I love it, guys. Y'all are so creative. But this is just a quick exercise in creativity.
just thinking, keep tracing your shapes and going, what could I turn this into? What could these leaves become? It's fun to challenge your family. Or if you have, if you're home virtually, like these two brothers are, I've got Keaton behind the camera, and Tate is drawing fun stuff over here, that you could um, say, hey, you make something out of it and I make something out of it, and you figure out something like that. So that's really a neat thing to do. You don't have to know how to draw to do this. You can just try to remember the specific details. We're not trying to make it look exactly like an elephant or a snake. We're just kind of giving it the idea. We're saying, oh, I see the head of the elephant and the big ears. Or it could be a fox. I think I could see a fox's head in there too. Lots of things. So that's, I just want to do something really fun to give you an idea of an, something you could practice on at home. Something where you could take some of your colors, your crayons, you could trace leaves and see what they turn out to. Now, if you want to draw a turkey like this, you could draw a turkey like that. But if you want to learn to draw a turkey like this, that's what I'm going to do next Wednesday at 2 o'clock. I'm going to walk you through all the steps on drawing a turkey because, hmm, what holiday is coming up? Christmas. Well, <laughs> this is true. Oh, wait. Christmas. Maybe we'll draw Santa. No, it's the end. Uh, Maybe we'll draw Santa for Christmas, yeah, but um, we're going to draw a turkey in time for Turkey Day. So, join me next Wednesday. We're going to go, we're going to do a little turkey talk. Come with your turkey facts, come with your colored pencils, come with whatever, anything you want to add to it. I'm going to use charcoal and I'm going to walk you through, as I always do drawing, breaking it down, shape by shape, scale to scale, how things connect. In the meantime, go outside and find some more leaves. Turn them into turkeys or pigs or whatever you think of. Hope you all had a great, fun time today. Artist Man's Nature, Nature's God's Art. Thanks for joining me.